Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly reading session for you Aquarius. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading for today is for the Aquarius friends out there. What can I get for Aquarius? What is the love intuitive message for the Aquarius friends out there? What can I get for you? This is for the period of December 14th to the 20th. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for being here. If you are a guest viewers, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell. And um, if you would like to further support my channel, check out the description box below because you'll find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. Check out the online store, the Setting Manifestation Candles. They are available. It's free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free reading for me. So type your question, type your manifestation, and I will get back to you with your free reading and, and free manifestation reading. And check out the blog. Check out the website, www.sunshine-tv.com. We're putting in there the uh, daily reading first before it goes to YouTube. So if you're interested and you, if you'd like to have an advanced screening of the video, um, um, check it out. You know the link is down the description the description box below. Below it says daily video. The link is there. It will take you to the collective reading. It's available right now. So have a look. Okay, have a nosy. So let's start your reading, um, Aquarius. What can I get for you? What is the love intuitive message, predictive outcome, and advice? Mm. Okay. Um, you started off with a lover's card in reverse. Did you break up with somebody? Unexpected breakup. They've been thinking about you. They regret that. You know, I'm seeing the lion. This is your person. They regret breaking up with you. They have let their ego, their pride to take over their passion. They regret that. Look at how sad they are. They realize now from past to the current energy that you are lover. It was a divine timing. It was them who. Um, it was them who who fuck up. Yeah. Um. They still have a desire for you, Queen of Wands. They will come back. They will reach out. In fact, they're thinking about it right now. For some of you, it has already happened. Queen of Wands. In the current energy, expect a return, to be honest with you guys. There is a return. Because this is untimely breakup, untimely separation. It is not scheduled to be separated, disconnected. So the Queen of Wands sitting there. They will be social again with you. The Queen and the King of Wands. They will be very socially active with you again. You will start to see them online. They will add you in Facebook or Instagram. But they will be socially interacting with you. It's not kind of obvious in the, in the first place. But it's a good sign. It is a good sign. It's a good start. Um, they will talk about you. about. They will talk about work. About family. About stuff that you. You know. About. You know. Details. Informations that you missed with. Not having to talk for some sort of time. But your person will go. Yeah, they will reach out. They will call you. They will make some move. They will remove the ego. They know that it was their fault. It was their fault. It was definitely their fault. They're going to do some action. They're going to make an effort. They will make you feel needed. They will tell you their plan. To reconcile. To have a family. To have kids. They will be open with you again with whatever they talk to you about you and them in the past. They will reminisce on that. Um, it's a very good energy. Um, and it's so hard to resist. Okay, Six of Cups. This is what you feel towards this person. You're struggling to resist this person. Because this is your person. It's just that it was a misalignment. Maybe an immaturity, impulsiveness, or someone is trying to steer the direction of the connection or the communication into something that's not ready and it triggers you and them to act this way. But there's a strong, very, very strong energy that they will be social again. You would start off as friends, casual, and then they will take a detour of 
Let's talk about love, baby. Let's talk about love. Six of Cups. Um, it's it's so hard for you to resist this, you know, the, the star card. It, it's been a cycle of on and off for some of you. In the immediate future, I see you resisting. I see you and feeling. In the immediate future, I see you reminding yourself how it was unsuccessful, how it was playing hard to hard to get playing stupid um playing playing you know playing ego you know a tug of war um there's a lot of immaturity between the two of you but still i see you and this person unable to resist each other i still see a strong feeling or a strong outcome of six of pentacles imbalance in because pentacles speaks about action but the feelings that you and this person have, it is amazing. Your feelings with one another, it is something that it is hard to contain. Okay. Um, the feelings that you have with one another, the passion, the desire, the feelings, it is so strong. That you and your person try to hide it, try to manipulate it by pretending not to make an effort. And that is why this thing this connection, this relationship, it leads to a failure because you manipulate. You, you, you don't show the organic, the organic feelings that you have with one another. You hid. One of you hide, hid the desire, the real desire, the soulmate, the cosmic connection. It is there undeniably. Um, the predictive outcome and advice, it's a red flag. Six of pentacles. It might, it will, it could lead to an imbalance again you know the amount of effort that this person will come forward you will show to you will offer to you they will deliver they will deliver and if you still think of them or if you show that you don't trust or you think it will not last then you're manifesting the negative or pessimistic energy you've got to manifest that it will work because it will and it starts within you you need to start believing that they will deliver they will re-offer they will come back but as soon as you manifest or you think of an error or how it's gonna you know it's not gonna end up not nice again then you are manifesting this to fail okay so you're being reminded this is your card Aquarius do not manifest an error manifest a success rate because they're willing to deliver it's you it's within you don't manifest an error okay there's a good at outcome there's a good potential outcome so manifest it to be perfect manifest it to work all right so there's a red flag it's a predictive you know um predictive intuitive message you could change it I see them re re rediscovering, redelivering, reoffering, coming back to you. You've got to trust your, you've got to manifest it to work, not the other way around. Okay? So you could still change the imbalance, this red flag. All right? So thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. I hope you liked the reading. If you do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell. And I'll see you soon again, guys. Have a great week. Bye-bye.